With a reputation as a heavy industry and manufacturing center, shimmering ocean vistas are not something usually associated with Taiwan. But as an island, Taiwan's heritage is deeply entwined with the sea. This is Pingdong County on the south coast of Taiwan. It used to be known for its annual Bluefin Tuna Festival, where people celebrated Taiwanese fishing culture and feasted on tuna. But lately, much of the tuna fleet lies idle. In recent years, reef destruction and overfishing have seen bluefin tuna stocks all but disappear from these waters. As a result, the region's fishing-based economy is in serious trouble. In an effort to save ailing communities that relied on fishing, Pingdong County wants to phase out the tuna festival and instead promote eco-tourism in places like Shaoliao Chao, a tiny island off the south coast of Taiwan. Chen Zen Wang is a long-term resident of Shao Liao Chao. Chen's witnessed the decline of the island's fish stocks and its economy. He believes that protecting Taiwan's coastal reefs may be the only way to guarantee the survival of his home and many other places like it. Xiao Liao Chao is home to green and hawksbill turtles. They feed in the shallows and nest on the island's sandy beaches. For eight years, Tian has been documenting their behavior and working with a small group of volunteers to protect their habitat. Chen runs a small hotel on the island and takes his guests to visit the turtles. From craggy limestone cliffs, he points out the turtles below and tells his guests about the importance of protecting this area. For many visitors, it's the first encounter they've ever had with a wild creature. The turtles are drawing visitors to the island, but unchecked development is encroaching on the turtles' habitat, like these fences which block their access to egg-laying areas. Chen's worried that without the government's immediate protection, the turtles will soon follow the fate of the reef. Tuna may have mostly disappeared from these waters, but Shao Liu Chao may get a second chance for economic survival if turtles are protected in time. The Greenpeace ship Rainbow Warrior has been touring Taiwan in part to raise awareness about the country's disappearing coastal habitats and to push for the creation of marine reserves. Chen will continue his fight to protect the turtles, but without immediate action to create marine reserves in Taiwan, it's not just the turtles of Shao Liu Chao that are at serious risk. If nothing is done soon, many jobs and communities in Taiwan may soon be the next to vanish forever.